we've arrived in Liverpool. <coughs> I understand there's three, two, a couple of hundred um, antique thugs that are uh, currently. So we've got we've got Antifa Antifa that have been attacking Tommy Ronson supporters. Uh, please share this. Please share it. So we've got Anti. So we turn up in uh, in in Liverpool. Antifa have attacked women and children, families again, throwing bottles, eggs. Um, police are very worried from what we're seeing. Um, they've got huge number of police forces out today. Please share this, I'm going to be live the whole time. So, what's the plan lads? How are we? Okay, let me show you. So the police are out in force. Okay. Alright, so we've got Antifa, stand up to racism, which are being violent towards the Tommy Robinson supporters. Tommy's, Tommy's arrived. Tommy's arrived. Right, here's the lads. Let me show you the lads. Tommy, Tommy! How are you, son? These are the fascists. Fascists. Trying to silence someone for their political views. These are fascists. Share it. Get this out everywhere. I'll be live the whole time. We're good, we're here. Tommy Robinson arrives. He's getting reports of eggs being thrown. We've got reports. Where's the mic? Give me the mic. Give me the mic. It's not on. No, it's not on. No, no, nothing. Hello? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go look at. Go over this there, over there. What's your thing, are Okay, who's one of the supervisors? Uh, okay. We've got a have we, have we, have we got a uh, I don't know, they have to speak to the police. Yeah. Okay, who's that? Who's the police? 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 Let me just show you the crowd. So, this is about police vehicles. These are Antifa thugs. We need to sort of secure it out for the vehicle. So, so, as you can see, Liverpool's turned out in force. After yesterday, today's different threat. Today's the left, the far left and team for thugs, which include members of the Labour Party, which include members of, of Stand Up to Racism. Okay, let's go see what Tommy's got to say. Right. 
Yeah, hope not hate momentum as well. Go. There we go. Hello, Liverpool! Hello, Finland! Let me know if the sound quality, what the sound quality is like, guys. It's working. Right, this is the video from yesterday. Tell him, tell him. We'll start playing in a minute. Everybody up, wait until you watch this video. This is the truth about what happened in Oldham. We've been up here night working on this. This is going to win us the election. Won't you see it? So this is in Bootle, we're in Bootle in Liverpool, we've had uh, reports of, uh, of Tony Robinson supporters being egged, being hit, as you can see the Antifa are out in force, obviously we know Liverpool's a very liberal city, very left. Got one guy wearing a McDonald's milkshake, which is actually quite funny. See him? So Tommy's just sorting out. We're going to show the video. Show the video from yesterday, what really happened, trying to. So, in Bootle, just waiting for this video to play. Let's see if we can get it out. I want you to see this. This is a uh, this is footage that no one would have seen from yesterday. I think it's still loading up at the moment. Um, <clears throat> So they're shouting nowhere to run. I understand vehicles have been attacked already. As you can see, they're. Uh... We don't want to run! We love you in the So today will be a different threat. Today is extreme far left Antifa members um, who are very, very violent. Uh, if you're in America, you know all about Antifa. They're no different here. They carry sticks, sticks as weapons, tenant at their flags. They, they're throwing bottles, they've thrown eggs. There's reports of uh, there's people that have been. Well, thank you very much. Police today, Liverpool, fair play. Coppers are acting really, really good today. They've secured the area completely, make it safeguarded. Let me just show you that the women and children are here. The women and children. These aren't tattooed dead, these are families that have come out to listen to him. Ask him questions, get leaflets, and discuss about his policies, running for being an MEP. Um, so it's, it, I'm very thankful that the police have taken the right steps today to secure the safety of all that's attended. I believe that that wasn't the case a bit earlier today, but now things have calmed down. They've, they've brought reinforcements in and they're securing the area and making sure everyone's safe. So well done, Liverpool Police. Like I said, you get. You know, I will, I will always show respect where it's due. Today, it seems like Liverpool police are doing okay since we've been here. 
Right, let's go watch this video. Let's get this. Sorry, lads, sorry, sorry. Right, watch this. Lucas got Tom, speak up. Nice no, sort of speaker. Out. Yeah, if you go onto Tommy's Telegram, if you can't really see this video, go onto Tommy's Telegram and you'll be able to see it there. This is one of the most powerful videos that we've ever released. <laughs> Before I went to the city line election campaign, the local Labour MP supported by the establishment's media run hit pieces, small pieces against me, maybe you're talking about no one hate or deficient for basis. There's zero evidence in those accusations, zero evidence at all. They whip up people ready to attack me. On Saturday, I visit the working class of state. Just like the last three weeks of travelling the North West visit different uh, working class of state. Each one of my events have been peaceful, family events where people have brought their children to have an opportunity for me to speak to my future constituents. The difference for older people for the past week, a Muslim organisation on Facebook has literally been inciting attacks against me and organising and planning attacks against me and all, telling people to come and throw milkshakes at me. Not just milkshakes, anything they want. So before getting to my political rally, I decided to take a walk through Oldham Town Centre. I had some interesting debates with members of the public. I'm from Afghanistan. I, I appreciate what you do for your people. Oh, and I like what you do for your people. Thank you, boy. Yeah? Thank you. I know. Some people are doing bullshit in this country. They shouldn't do that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know you this, mean, we, can, we come to this country. We should respect their law. We should respect their traditions. Good man. Little did I know loads of mass thugs were on their way to attack my family friendly The biggest shock from what happened on Saturday, what you're going to witness, is that hundreds of Muslims wearing balaclavas, intent on violence, were mar marched and escorted for miles by Greater Manchester Police. They were marched to our campaign event. Our campaign event, miles away from any Muslim community. They were marched there intent on violence, and they come armed with bricks, and they attacked a family event with women and children present. Time to talk, Tommy what? Time it is going. Make sure you go and uh, show some support to the locals, yeah? Uh, go and join the Muslim Defence League page if you're on YouTube. I'm in Oldham today, guys. Remember this next time, Halifax. Next time, come out like these Buddhas up in Oldham, yeah? Yeah, we've got about, about 300 people with us, bro. Let's go to the front line with my boys. The Halifax Pakistanis repping in Oldham. And they've come from Halifax. Halifax, Pakistan. Halifax isn't even in the northwest. This is premeditated. Gangs of young men, young Muslim men, armed and balaclavas, intent on attacking a political campaign. Not just intent on attacking it, but aided and abetted and supported and directed there by the local police. Where are you, man? Where are you? 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 Thank you. 
or trying to stop me. The police are obviously quite worried. I think we're going to be getting the tear gas out shortly. Because to be stopped from this entrance here, and they're going all the way around to the left. So you put officers under, under attack by who? By the guns the crows. I'm looking you. I have no idea who it is. We're 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 we're
children having bricks and bottles for them by gangs of Muslim youth. All we're trying to do is hold an election campaign rally. We have specifically chosen not to go into the city centre. We specifically chose not to go near any Muslim Muslim estates in order for there to be no trouble. And still, they've come to these estates. They've come out of their areas and come to attack our campaign rally in a non in a non-Muslim area. And still. Watch the media try and spin this completely. Send the police to go and do the job. It's the police. That family's under attack. As I predicted, the media would spin everything. Let's have a look at the Daily Mirror article. The Daily Mirror article has a picture of seven Muslim men attacking a lone white individual in a race-hate attack. But they say people fighting. People fighting. Let's have a look at the video of actually what was happening there. This is a local resident being targeted by gangs like a pack of animals, violently beating him just because he was attending a political rally in his own estate. Men from out of town have come to attack him. And look how the media report. <laughs> and the Manchester Evening News. Objects thrown and police vehicles smashed as violent erupts at Tommy Robinson demonstration. That's not what happened. We were holding a political rally with families. We were violently attacked. Let's have a look now. It says police, police vehicles smashed. Why are they not reporting who smashed the vehicles? Let's have a watch of the video so you can see who smashed those vehicles up. <laughs> town and started smashing up with my supporters. The complete opposite of the reality that happened. Why are they lying to you? And just so we get a full house. Let's have a look at the Daily Mail's reporting on this. All of the mainstream media have lied to the public about what happened. Lastly, let's look at the independent newspaper. They are absolute trash. Tommy Robinson, police vehicles damaged during clashes at campaign event in Oldham. But wait for it, they actually joke in the line below and say that no milkshakes believed to have been thrown during the disturbances. Not only do they write the headlines to push fake news that somehow I have caused damage to police cars, but they then make a joke about a previous assault, whilst ignoring the fact that violent mass Muslim gangs have travelled miles to attack innocent women and children. We all talk about our rights and our freedoms. We all see our freedoms disappearing before us. The ability to have a campaign in 10 years' time well, five years' time, in fact, today, the ability to have a safe and free democratic political campaign in Oldham is gone. It's gone already. Families come under violent, hostile attack by gangs of Muslims armed wearing balaclavas, supported by the police. That's the reality. That's what the headline should have said. Innocent bystanders, innocent members of the public going to a political rally, they're right. Their right and my right were violently attacked, but not one of the mainstream media have told you that. How many of these videos that you're seeing now in this, how many of them have you seen? How many of them have the news reported? 
Could you imagine a reverse of roles? Imagine a Muslim politician talking to the Muslim community and hundreds of young English men wearing balaclavas were escorted there by the police to throw rocks, missiles, to throw scissors and attack them when they're children there. Imagine that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call Pakistani men from my community. This is Ramadan. This is what you call peace of Islam. I will address the Pakistani men from my community. Shame on you! You have the right to have a political rally. The Pakistani men have no right to come in here and attack young kids in the club by throwing bricks and balls. Shame on the Pakistani community! The longer I stay here, the longer they're going to stay here. As it gets into the evening, the last thing we want is them not rioting across the city. So I'm going to make the decision, I'm going to leave, I'm going to love you all, I'm going to thank you all. I'm going to say, that thank, thank you all for coming, man. I'm so, I, I am sorry, I'm sorry that the way this has been policed has allowed that. I'm sorry that there's members of this, in fact, it's all members of this town. They've travelled from everywhere. In fact, I've just heard online they've got Halifax Pakistanis. They've come from everywhere, they have. They've come from everywhere to kick off and cause violence. And the worst thing is, all the intelligence was there online. All the people inciting it were online. But I think the best thing is so that there's less disorders for me to leave. So I thank you all for coming here. We've got female supporters being glassed and attacked. Ladies, just glass in your face. Where are we at? Ladies, just glass in your face. If this doesn't make you vote on the 23rd of May, nothing will. Make sure you vote. We've seen bricks being thrown at families and scissors. They're throwing scissors. How are the media not telling you this? How is how has this been twisted and turned? Why don't they want you to know the reality of what happened? And then the local Labour MP, Jim Mackart, said that we had a peaceful rally in the town centre. We didn't have any problems. You didn't have 300 balaclavered up thugs directed to your to your rally by the police to violently attack you with weapons, did you, Jim? Now, why would the police allow this? Why would this be allowed to happen on an election campaign? You've all witnessed, I've been physically assaulted multiple times. You've seen the police trying to prevent the campaign in Carlisle. And now this. Why would they let this happen? I'll let Mohammed tell you that. I appreciate you just speaking to me, but what, what my concern is this, right? The men from my community, you know exactly why they were out there, and they were here to cause trouble. Why on earth did the police officers did not stop them right at the end, right at the start of it, is because they wanted this reaction to happen. Why? We certainly, we certainly don't want it to happen. Your chief constables do. Why? Because they wanna, they wanna label Tommy, they wanna label Tommy's supporters as the as the trouble shooters. That's why, right? Right. And you're playing into, into the hands of your chief constables under their orders. This is why this has happened. Right. Okay. The establishment has literally thrown everything at me during this campaign. But I never would have imagined they'd have their police lead a Muslim mob wearing balaclavas to my family-friendly campaign event to attack it. We all have a choice on May 23rd. I need you. If you want to send a message to all those traitors in Parliament, then vote for Tony Robinson on May 23rd. It started off with milkshakes, and then it was eggs, and then bricks and violence, and complete attacks against innocent families. You've now witnessed what happened. The scary thing is, not one single politician, not one media outlet has condemned the behaviour of these masked thugs. Instead, they've all spun it completely and led the public to believe that my supporters and myself caused disturbances in all on May 23rd. Send them all the message. I need every single one of them. Share this message everywhere. Share the truth. That's what I'm asking you to do. Share the truth about what happened in Oldham. Share it to your email list. Share it in your WhatsApp group. And let's send all of them a message together on May 21st. Change is coming. Yeah. Very, very bad. It's all been Thank you.
the cards in my booth. Yeah. I'll, I'll read it and put it on telegram when I get home now. Cheers, thank you. See you later, Thank you, thank you. Thank you, little man. And I'll read your card later, darling. You alright? Right, you alright? See you later. See you later, See you later, little man. Alright, Sam. See you soon. So guys, what you've witnessed there, that video, if you go onto my YouTube, it's the last video that I put up, gives you a better better view of it. Uh, if it's if it sound mate. And uh, yeah, so if you need to, if you want to watch that video in high high definition, watch it properly. That is the truth. What the police did yesterday, what they're allowed to happen, is absolutely disgraceful. And you lot are no better than them on there! And the world needs to see it. Let's see what Tom's saying. Yeah. Right, mate. Bear in mind the threats of violence to every single one of you that have come out today. I want to say thank you right, for showing bravery and courage just like everyone in Oldham. Yeah. We had families. For our rights, for a democratic process, to hear and listen to an election campaign. They, it wasn't just a matter. Ask yourself why they let that happen. Because if the police would have tried to stop 300 balaclava wearing young Muslims, and they drew their young Muslims, and they drew their batons on them, they knew that that alone could provoke riots from Muslims across England. And they scared of them. They're scared of them. So rather, rather than do their job to protect our rights, they sacrificed our rights and they allowed a baying mob to walk miles to hurt missiles against innocent women and children in their own city. That video and the lies and I'm just glad, if I'm just glad that it took us off social media, that's why I need every one of you, every single person, whether you agree with me or not. Innocent women and children were put in harm's way because of cowardice by British police. Again! Again! They've stood by, they have stood by while our daughters are raped in towns and cities across this country and they're still standing by. They're still acting like cowards. And this is not an attack to the individual police officers on the street. I spoke to many police officers yesterday in Oldham who were disgusted. This is political policing from the top. Cowardice from the top. I kept hearing that I wouldn't be welcome in Liverpool. Look, it's these cities, it's these cities that need the alternative option. It's these cities that are religiously voting for Labour because their dad did, because their granddad did. Labour betrayed every single one of us. Yeah. And, do you know, and do you know what? I went to the Liverpool game in the Champions League, yeah? Liverpool. I don't get a bad reception. I don't get a bad reception. This socialist mess over here, I simply don't. The facade, I see people saying he can't come into Liverpool. I go into Liverpool all the time. I'm going out in Liverpool tonight. And I, and I get a great reception every time I come into Liverpool. We won. I won. Uh, apart from, yeah, Jamie Carragher. <laughs> to be honest, I always, I always quite like Jamie Carragher as a player. I did. But someone who spits water in a child's face shouldn't be taking the moral high ground about anyone. And you know what? It's Joe and Jamie Carragher shows how far detached celebrities come from the people in their own community. 
I'm in refugees that Jamie Carragher put up. Does Jamie Carragher live near a mosque? No, of course he doesn't. Preaching. Now, on the 23rd of May, we're going to make history. No independent candidate has ever won. The reason why independent candidates before have stood for themselves. We are a movement of people. There is something that they underestimate about every single one of us. And they smile about it because they just can't get their heads around it. They try everything they can for 10 years, for a decade, to stop this movement. There is no price you can put on a man's, a man's love for his country and his people. There is nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. Every single one of you have taken up your time, you travel across the country, you put the money in, you funded this, you funded my legal expenses. Every single one of you are volunteers and they can't beat it. They will not beat it for too long. We are the people. We are the people. And for Germany, we are das Volk. Yes, we are the people in German, because that is their slogan. In East Germany, when they marched against communism to bring down the wall, they peacefully walked every Monday. Their slogan, we are das Volk. We are the people. They succeeded. Right now, when I last went to East Germany, I met older people who were there, who took part in the revolution, who said, we've seen this before. We've watched this before. I said, what? Don't talk about it. Shh. You can't say that. You'll lose your job. That's where we're living now. We're in that era now. They've seen it before under communism. We witness it now. And the weak Marxist communism, Marxism, Islamism, all of them combined together. A loose alliance between the left and Islam is what we're witnessing. Now, love always wins. Freedom always wins. Our love for freedom will always outweigh any communist, Marxist, cowardly, religious, Islamic ideology. And... For you not, I'm gonna be your MEP. I'm gonna be your MEP. So he's gonna be your MEP. So he's gonna be your MEP. So he's gonna be your MEP. For too long, for too long we've been betrayed. The people of this country have been betrayed. I keep talking about class. The reason why I talk about class is because 75% of this country is working class. Only 4% of those traitors in Parliament share our, share our upbringing. Only 4% are working class. The so-called Labour Party, 90% of their MPs are middle class. They don't live where we live. Their children don't go to the schools our children go to. They don't even breathe the same air. This country is ready and waiting for a political revolution. I can, I can tell you, and don't let them make you feel like you are part of the fringe movement. Every one of you here is the mainstream, trust me. Everywhere I go. And do you know what? I'm going to make a video actually. I'm going to make a video with cameras for one day. Just to say, Tommy Robinson, the most hated man in Britain. You, what you will witness is everywhere I go. And you know the bit that's so great for me? It isn't people saying, all right, Tommy, how you doing, Tommy? It's people going, come on, Tommy! We're feeling it, mate! And it's that, it's that. And I see that. So I see, I, I know that I'm passionate about it. I believe in it. But then I can see how many other people, the mainstream are feeling it, they're waiting for it. And our biggest, our biggest problem is getting our, our communities politically motivated, getting us driven, getting us politicised. If there's one thing this, this, this election's going to do, I hope it politicises a generation. 
It politicises us, it politicises them as well, look. But they protest over anything, don't they? Look at them. Every time, I just can't help but laugh at them. Every time I see it, it's like the social misfits all get together for one day out. Everywhere you go. I get elected, I'll make sure it's compulsory that they have to wash. <laughs> now, what power, what power does an MEP have? This is the question. None! The whole thing's a joke. You know, even if I win, your, your, your victory speech when you get elected is allowed to be 60 seconds. How can I tell people about all the Northwest problems in 60 seconds? How can you? The whole thing is a facade set up to pretend to all of us that we have some say in that dictatorship that is the European Union. And then they keep telling us about how much money the European Union's invested. I hear about Liverpool, the regeneration of Liverpool. It's our money! It's our taxpayers' money that you're giving back to us! That's all you're doing! Now, on the 23rd of May, some people would say it's a chance to, tell, to, to stick your two fingers up at the government or to stick your two fingers up at the European Union. I don't want it to be about that. I don't want this to be a protest vote. I want this to be, generally, I want this to be the start of an uprising. I want this to be looked up, looked back upon us on a day. Where they, and, and, and you know what? If we do this, if we do this, we will inspire so many people in our country. The people who don't think it's possible. The people who don't think we can succeed. The people who are sitting there, like every one of us has been at some point, thinking it's too late, thinking what can you do? If we do it, and I walk in there as your elected official, it will show all of those people, we can do it. And knowing, knowing that the power is ours, it's not theirs. We get confused thinking they have all the power. We're the majority. All we have to do is organise ourselves. If we can travel, after the 23rd of May, if I can travel to working class communities, to Labour's heartland, and I can show them there's an alternative voice here, and that alternative voice, they can't even question this, there's one thing that they even know. I wholeheartedly believe every word I'm saying. Yeah? How many politicians can you say that about? <laughs> the reason I'm asking you to vote for me is because I'm not a politician. Because I hate them all like you do. Because it's a, it's a club. It's a club where their parents were politicians. They all went to the same couple of schools. That's it. And it's about time we rock them like they've never seen before. Yeah. Now what will, what will cause more of an upstir for the European Union? Your options. How many people here can name your last MEP? You had eight of them. Can anyone here give me one of their names? It's mental, uh, get out. <laughs> it's mental, isn't it? They, they don't do anything. No one even knows who they are. They're all part of the same club. Their friends get elected, it's all within the Labour Party, whoever's part of Jerry Corbyn's little gang gets a seat to win the election. What well, I'm saying, and I had Granada TV question me about it yesterday, if I'm elected, I don't want to be part of that system. I'll donate 100% of the money given to me to the victims of sexual exploitation. You know, there's so many shocking things about the EU that I find out. Do you know how much tax they pay? If you get elected as MEP, you get £96,000 a year. 12% tax! All the way! We all pay 20% basic, and then you go up to 40%. They have given themselves the biggest tax break in Europe! They're laughing at us! They are laughing at us! Every time there's an election, they're laughing at us! Look what they've done with Brexit. When I talk about betrayal, because all this has become about betrayal, we've witnessed for years the betrayal of free speech. We've witnessed the betrayal of our daughters. We're now witnessing the betrayal of our armed forces, putting them up for conviction for fighting terrorists in Northern Ireland. And the ultimate betrayal of all, democracy. And they think they can get away with it. They're laughing. I'm asking every one of you, on the 23rd of May, let's wipe the smiles off their faces. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, 
in the on the ballot paper on the ballot paper let's talk about who we got who we're up against the brexit party nigel farage's brexit party nigel, nigel farage i think deserves a lot of respect for what he's done he sacrificed his life to fight in the european union he's done more in british politics than any other politician i can remember yeah I don't like, he said a lot of bad things about me, but let's, we, he deserves the respect for that. Now, the option you have, if you are a Brexit Party or Nigel Farage supporter, in the northwest of England, the lady representing the Brexit Party's name is Claire Fox. Claire Fox supported the IRA bombings in Warrenham. They killed two children. She refuses to condemn her previous support. She used to be a communist. She also says... She would not censor any child pornography online. So people need to understand what their options are. If you vote for the Brexit party, you're not voting for Nigel Farage. Claire Fox, a paedophile apologist, she calls it free speech. Well, I support free speech, but I don't support children being raped online and videos of it. It's not hard. She supports the IRA and she supported communism. That's one of your options. The other options? Labour. I'm free. All three of Labour's MEPs are calling for a second referendum. All three of your representatives in the North West. That is a total betrayal of the five million Labour voters who voted to leave. Now I get upset about Labour because I'm angry with them. Because Labour, I feel, should have been the political party. It's the political party my granddad supported. It's the political party my mum supported. Even when I read their manifesto, I think it's all right, but it's Jeremy Corbyn is not that. That is not his representative. So I get angry about the Labour Party because I feel they've betrayed us. And they'll continue betraying us. The other options, as you go down, Brexit Party, Conservative Party, so people understand when you're filling out your form. At the bottom of the, at the very bottom of the form, you've got Mohammed Aslam. I'm sure he'll get some votes from the Muslim community. And at the bottom, is labelled Robinson Tommy. It's late, I don't know why, not Tommy Robinson. But it's not labelled Stephen Yaxley Lennon! <laughs> Which I know triggers them not so much. Yaxley Lennon! And they shout when they see me, Yaxley Stephen! Oh, you're gutted, mate. <laughs> but, let's all together and understand your importance. I know what become of the name Tommy Robinson. When I was sent to prison, over the grooming case at Leeds, I watched and I sat in jail and I got sent photo after photo of houses with free Tommy banners, motorway bridges with free Tommy banners, Sydney Harbour with a plane with free Tommy. I, I witnessed the birth and the uprising of a movement of people. Now that movement that I've seen grow over the years is not about me as a, pers as a person. It's about everyone feeling oppressed everyone feeling censored everyone feeling betrayed and no one's saying it so i want to ask you on the 23rd of may when you vote if you vote for tommy robinson it's not a vote for me it's a vote for every single one of us yes. sun is shining it's beautiful isn't it in liverpool hello facebook hello mark zuckerberg I'm still here, mate. And uh, Jack Dorsey, I was trending on Twitter two days ago, mate. A level of censorship we're witnessing. How many people here have been censored on social media? We have laws in this country, strict laws. Those laws prevent incitement to hatred or racial hatred. I have never been arrested, let alone convicted, for any of those crimes. All of you people who have been sent on Facebook, I'm sure if it broke the law what you said, the busies in blue would be booting your doors off and dragging you out for some sort of hate crime. We are now being censored, not for hate crime, not for hate speech, for the truth. We're being censored for the truth. And people right now, people are witnessing, there's a worldwide revolution going on. A lot of people think it started with Donald Trump. It actually started with Modi in India. When Modi stood for election, the establishment, the media, the globalists, they were all against him. The people stood behind him. He won. Donald Trump's election. We watched as they all said he had no chance. We saw their polling. 
He smashed it because the American people stood behind him. Mar Salvini, Matteo Salvini, the legend that is from Italy. So people can understand how quick, how fast it changes. Because this country's going to change. And when it changes, it's going to swing so far, so quick, that no one's going to be ready for it. Because everyone's been feeling silence. So when that barrier breaks and people feel they can talk, they're going to be screaming it in every town and city about what they've watched in their towns and cities. Salvini, four years ago, was on 4% of the vote. In the last election, he got 24%. In four years. In four years. He's now one of the most powerful men in Europe. He was viewed, like every one of us, as fringe, as an extremist. He's now the mainstream. All, all these people over here, who are standing over there, stuck in history, thinking we're extremists and we're fringe. We're going to prove every one of them in the coming years in this country that we are the mainstream, that we are the people. Who's coming to Hyam? Yeah. Who's coming to Hyam? Yeah. 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 Two, dogs. Two dogs fighting. Two dogs fighting The, the best thing, the best thing, whenever the government made, like a move they made yesterday, they're setting our campaign up to fail, so that when Muslims attacked us, they know the way the media will work with them, hand in hand, to tell the whole country that we were violent, that we, when you read the headlines, it reads like we attacked police cars. We were innocent. We weren't there for trouble. We were there for this. Exactly what we're doing now. We were there to talk, to speak to each other, to get each other going, ready for the election. Now, when they do that, I don't care they don't see what they're doing, and they're back, it backfires every time. It backfires every time. When they put me in prison, can I ask you people here, when I'm sent to jail outside Leeds, at Leeds Court, in a, in a completely unlawful case, how many people here did that wake up? How many people started following them? Every time they do something like this, every time, that video is going to wake up so many people who will see the truth, who will see the injustice, it's watching the injustice for years. Many of us witness it. We all see the two-tier system. We all witness it. We're part of it. That injustice is what will be the moment that will wake every one of us up. I see I'm back in court on the 4th of July. I'll ask every one of you if you can take the day off, if you can make it. Come and have a party at the Old Bailey with me on the 4th of July. And I know in satisfaction that no matter what, no matter what they do on the 4th of July, I win. My job and what I want to do is wake people up. You send me a prison, I'm going to wake more people up. You let me off, we're going to party and wake more people up. No matter what, no matter what they do, people are awake to it. Every one of you, I'll ask you, ignore the fascists, socialists, ignore the people trying to use violence to silence you. Don't, and don't rise to it. They're here to try and provoke you. I'm glad that everyone's been safe. I want you to all leave safely. I want to ask you to know your importance in this. I can't do it. Without social media, every one of you with cameras are the media. The thing that annoys, I don't know who you are, mainstream journalists, but most mainstream journalists, the thing that annoys them is, I'm a journalist. I report the news, whether you like it or not. I didn't go to university, no. But I do a better job than any of you in any way. So, Every single one of you are journalists. You know, we are all now citizen journalists. We need every one of you to share it, share it with your families, talk to your families, let them know the apathy within our people of thinking we can't do nothing. We can. We will. We will win this election. I need every single one of you. Speak to your friends, speak to your family, get them buzzing for it. Because on May 23rd, we're going to set history. We're doing it. We'll end this. Oh, well, we need to get to Highton. Two dogs.
Let's just send this to the Congress for all our friends over here. Tommy's gonna be your MVP. Tommy's gonna be your MVP. And uh, literally, gonna be you have to, MVP. you have to get everyone voting because if not, they're gonna make these little cutaways of me going, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna be the MVP. It's gonna cut, 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 cut to me standing in the election. We're gonna win. Come on! Everyone here has come. Oh shit, hold on. I've got 10 minutes, yeah? I know you've all travelled out, so anyone who's come, I want to meet you, shake your hands. Anyone who wants a photo, I'll stand here. Just have your phones ready if you're doing it on a quick one. I want to say thank you to everyone here. I know you've come here against opposition, maybe from your families. Your families are still stuck thinking. Stuck believing the lies. Know this. I've watched over 10 years and I've seen people who hated me do a full 360 to now support me. I've seen friends of my family who condemned it on my other family members for what I was doing who now get it. Know this. Every one of your family members, everyone who's against you right now, they're going to wake up. They're going to have their moment that you had that opens their eyes and then they're going to realise how wrong they were. So keep at it. Cheers, man. Oh, Tom, Tom, hey. Yeah. Alright. Ready? Five minutes, yeah? Yeah, let's get some video of these guys. So, all's done. Great turnout again. Um, so happy that they all came. We're now going to make our way to Highton. We're going to hope a lot of these are going to come with us. Um, the unwashed, the unloved, the social misfits are still here, but um, shame on you for what? running a political campaign i think they should be saying shame on those who target violently target a p political rally whose attendees are women and children and men so their numbers have gone down since we turned up i think they've probably heard the speech and most of them thought actually it's probably telling the truth so they've probably gone home but uh i'm still here Look at them. so we're now going to make our way to Hoyton. We're going to make our way to height and get ready. Um, people were attacked earlier. I've had a bit more information since I've been standing. Uh, there's been some attacks on on people that came to the rally as they were, as they were walking down. We going? Okay. What from yesterday? From today. Yeah. From today. Oh, I give you my number. On my number. Today, here. Okay. So we've got some video evidence to the, the, what happened earlier today. Uh, people being attacked. All right. No problem. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, it's like a Right, I'll stay between you, though, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Oh, hold on. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, send it to me, yeah? Okay. Right, yeah. Yeah, quickly, mate. Yeah, sound. Sound, mate. Take care, mate, yeah? See you later. Right, so. Yeah. A load of his here. What to get into the valley? Yeah. yeah. Why are they stopping? Why are they stopping? Because they said you couldn't go in there. Yeah. Oh, he's joking, lads. That's the car anyway. Yeah. Fighting. Come to fighting. Come to fighting. Right. So, sorry, guys. So we're now getting to the vehicles, making sure that um, Tom can get safely out. Um, yesterday. It was like being in a film trying to get out of there yesterday. Right, right, right. Let's go and meet the kids. Tom obviously put the kids. Listen, please do me a favour. When you get off this live feed, go to the, go to my YouTube and watch the video I've just put up. Tommy Robinson tells the exact truth of what happened in Oldham yesterday. There's footage on there that you probably haven't seen. There's footage on there that we we, we found. You know, Tommy was up to eight o'clock this morning. No word of a lie. He was up to eight o'clock this morning editing this video, get it, trying to get it together to give you the truth. So do please do us a favour. Go on there, watch the video, share the video, uh, and make sure everyone sees exactly what happened yesterday and I'll be back on live in about an hour's time when we're in uh, in Highton in Highton in Highton um, let's see how things go there guys thanks again I've noticed there's a couple of donations that have come in so I just want to thank everyone for your support obviously with everything going down at the moment it is difficult to fund our trips so I just want to thank everyone for that and uh, I'll see you in about an hour's time guys thanks again bye